Now to a CBS News exclusive, a former Spirit Aerosystems employee who blew the whistle over safety concerns is now breaking his silence to CBS News. The company is a major supplier for Boeing and has been under intense scrutiny since January when a door panel blew off an Alaska Airlines plane mid-flight. Well, tonight, the whistleblower is telling his story to our senior transportation correspondent, Chris Van Cleve. If quality matter, I will still be a spirit. For about a decade, Santiago Paredes worked at the end of the production line at one of Boeing's largest suppliers, Spirit Aerosystems, doing final inspections on 737 fuselages before they'd shipped to Boeing. How often did you find issues? Every day. I'm finding over 100 defects in, in, in every day. Findings, he says, his managers pressured him to keep to a minimum. Even, he says, referring to him by the nickname Showstopper because repairs he identified delayed deliveries, which he says cost Spirit money. They always said that they didn't have time to fix the mistakes. Didn't have time because they needed to get the planes out? They the complaints out, yep. CBS News spoke with several current and former Spirit employees and reviewed photos of dented fuselages and a wrench they say was left behind in a supposedly ready-to-deliver component. Were these defects that if they weren't fixed could be a, a safety issue down the line? Some of them were because some of them were missing fasteners. And a fastener holds parts of the plane together? Yeah. Boeing confirms it's long had a team that finds and fixes defects in Spirit products after delivery when Boeing is assembling the planes. It's a recipe for disaster, really. I said it was just a matter of time before something bad happened. In February 2022, Paredes said his bosses asked him to speed up inspections by being less specific about where he was finding issues. He emailed his managers writing the request was unethical. What happened to you? They took my team lead away. They stripped me from my for my, my leadership position. After filing an ethics complaint with HR and contacting the company's CEO, Paredes eventually was reinstated, but says he'd had enough resigning that summer. It takes a toll on you, and I was tired of fighting. Until today, Paredes, an Air Force veteran who spent 12 years at Spirit's Wichita plant, was known as former employee one in a lawsuit brought in December by Spirit shareholders, alleging widespread quality failures. Quality failures, Paredes says Boeing was well aware of. For many years, they knew they were getting defective fuselages. He says he frequently found issues near door panels similar to the one that blew out of a 737 MAX mid-flight in January. The ongoing NTSB investigation indicates that door panel was removed during final assembly to allow Spirit contractors to make defect repairs. It appears the bolts holding the panel were not reinstalled. We're working at Spirit. I almost grew a fear of flying. There's about two or three units that is in the back of your mind that you know that you would never want to fly on. You mm, think there different. are planes out oh, yeah. there that you wouldn't want to fly on? But knowing what I know about the 737, it makes me very uncomfortable when I fly on one of them. Spirit declined our request for an interview, but in a statement says the claims against the company in that shareholder lawsuit are unfounded and it remains committed to addressing concerns and continuously improving workplace safety standards. Nora? So, Chris, it seems like one of the obvious questions is, what's Boeing doing about this? Well, since March, Boeing has been inspecting every fuselage that comes off the line in Wichita. Boeing CEO says that has cut defect issues by about 80 percent. Boeing maintains the 737 is safe. Chris Van Cleve, thank you very much.